Oh, what's going on, everybody? We're in the X-Ram here. Coming at you uh, from a nice Wednesday morning. Uh, this morning, I get to take this baby in to get her nice and serviced. Her, her service cherry popped, as it were. Uh, I'm going to get to get all the good stuff taken off it that make it so I can't ha haul so much ass. The orange numbers go away and become red. And uh, I get to have more fun on this bad boy. The other plus side is I also get to ride another motorcycle while she's getting worked on. And that motorcycle of choice is the BMW S1000RR. So I get to, uh, I guess, review that one, see what I like about it, see what I don't like about it. You know, with all the other reviews that are done on that particular bike, um, it on paper and from what other people say is better than this bike. So will it make me regret buying this one? I highly doubt it. However, I'm sure I'll enjoy riding that one as well. So I get to, you know, have a subjective view on both. And uh, yeah, so really looking forward to that. So, uh, so first ride on the uh, S1000RR. Um, I'll tell you what, it is a way more comfortable ride. Uh, the Ducati. I give them that. The seat is very comfortable, although I did just buy the comfort seat for the Ducati. So that shouldn't be an issue anymore. Handlebars are higher. This bike feels like you can do whatever the hell you want. I mean, overall, it's a comfortable bike. It makes you feel like a better rider than what you are, though. I'll give you that. It's got plenty of power. Plenty of power. The tank's a little wide. The uh, feel of this is definitely a lot more, definitely a lot more uh, wide than that of the uh, Ducati. I mean, it's a nice bike. It feels good. It feels very smooth. It, and honestly, it feels more refined. But there's there's one thing that's lacking is the the sheer grunt and force that that Ducati has, this doesn't have, this doesn't have that raw feel to it, which, you know, the most may not want, but understandably so, but for me, that's what I was looking for when I got Ducati was, fuck, can't get the damn mirror right, because I wanted that sheer freaking grunt, I wanted rawness. I wanted just that, that feeling that you know how fast you're going. This one, you can't really tell, that's the problem. But I tell you what though, the, the arm position is ungodly comfortable. We're gonna get off here and do an, uh, an on ramp. The brakes are good. Definitely, they're not quite as, as uh, responsive as the Ducatis. It's about. 9:45 ish, so about 11:30. I had to kill two hours. This thing's only got a half tank gas. Just like the Ducati, it doesn't have um, a fucking gas gauge on it, so that's never a plus. But it's all good. This thing gets up pretty good. Definitely gets up very smoothly. The launch the launch on this was great. I mean, this is in race mode. Apparently, there's another mode called slick, in which case it actually makes it feel like the Ducati does in race mode. The Ducati is just, it's just straight balls in race mode. It's uh, very fast, very fun. Uh, ride. This in race mode 
It's just, as some of the complaints went with the reviews, it just feels uh, limited. It feels like it's holding back a little bit. Ducati, if I would have done that, my Ducati my front wheel would have come up easily. But uh, man, this thing isn't too bad. If anybody's looking for a very comfortable, uh, very, I say refined feel to it, this bike is definitely it. Um, you could ride this bad boy for a couple hours, honestly. My Ducati, on the other hand, with the old seat, you know, made it about a good hour and a half ride, and your your ass is hurting. However, this damn, I should get off on that one. That'd have been fun. Um, however, this off limit. What? I don't get why I said off limit. Anyways. However, this, you know, um, because the tank is so hot, when you rest your arm on it, like I ride one-handed a lot, it uh, it's comfortable. This is definitely a very comfortable bike. It almost reminds me how comfortable my Honda is. My Honda is ungodly comfortable, mainly because the handlebar is a little higher. Uh, you're, sit you're sitting a little on top of the bike, not so much in the bike like the Ducati is, but that's really not a bad thing. know what all Fleming means. It's bugging me. This bike definitely does encourage speed just like the Ducati. I don't know, it really comes down to personal preference of which one you like more or the other. Um, quite frankly, you know, I like my Ducati a lot better. I think it's just got a lot more rawness to it. And that's, as I said, the rawness is what I was looking for. Let's see how the downshift is. Oh, just as smooth. Just as smooth. Oh yeah. She's got some grunt. It just doesn't have the, the torquiness that the Ducati does. The Ducati's got just an insane amount of torque to it. I'm gonna go left. I don't know what's left. Oh, I need fuel already, shit. Oh, look, there's a gas station right there. Guess I'll be filling this beast up. See, we have a little bit more fun on the uh, on-ramp again. Tell you what, the feet pegs on this are a good bit higher um, than what the Ducatis are, so I'm trying to get used to my feet position having to go up this high when I bring my legs up. Nicely. They handles very nicely. Wait for these motherfuckers. Motherfuckers driving stupid. I don't know, this bike is great. You know, I uh I really enjoyed being on this thing. It's nice. It's some godly comfortable. You could definitely ride this motherfucker for a while. Let's get off into another on ramp. Some on ramp riding. I gotta remember the clutch pull is a little different on this as well.
The vibration of this isn't at all there. <laughs> the vibration, the Ducati, I can't even look in the mirrors and see what's behind me. I gotta turn my head and look way behind me. It's all good though. This is a fun bike. It's a fun bike. I'll definitely fucking say that. It's not a bad bike at all. Those of you transitioning from 600s to 1000s, this bike right here is a very smooth transition. It'll keep you safe enough that you won't, that you shouldn't fuck up too bad. It'll control you. But at the same time, it'll let you have as much fun as you want to have. You know? Ooh, bump. The suspension is still kind of stiff. So, I mean, that's still there, but it's, it's not like it's so ungodly stiff that, you know, you can't control it. Definitely a fun, oh, that was a gradle turn. I could have done way faster than 50. Tell you what, the dynamic suspension is definitely uh, making this a smooth ass ride. That's kind of a sick ass color. Holy shit. The dude that owned the car was like 90. Oh, it's a sick ass color. That shit, dude that owned that was like 90. Awesome. No, that's right. This bike is fucking fun. I don't care what anybody says. This bike is fun. So, guys, hope you enjoyed my little ride around. Um, my my kind of, I'd say, unbiased review, even though I do own a Ducati. I came into this bike knowing that it'd probably be a fun ride, and shit, it is. I'm comfortable, the seat's comfortable, the ride isn't jarring. You know, there's a lot of positives about this bike that would make a lot of people go to this particular bike. But for me, again, like I said, that rawness, that just feel of everything that you're doing, what every input does to your bike, that this doesn't 100% give you because of, you know, the dynamic suspension and everything else. Um, you know, this is, I'm glad I went with the Ducati. That being said, this is still a sick ass bike. <laughs> I still get thumbs up from people. So clearly it's a sick looking bike as well. Well, on that note guys, have a good one, and uh, keep riding.